We turn now to the breaking news about General Motors Chairman Rick Wagoner, who we've learned is stepping down from the job just as President Obama is about to release details of the next phase of his bailout plan for U.S. automakers. Phil LeBeau covers the auto industry for CNBC. He joins us right now from Chicago. Phil, the word from the White House is this came with a push or at least a nudge from the president. What more do you know about Wagner's decision? Well, this was requested by the president's uh, auto task force as a condition of General Motors to receive more money from the federal government and to continue to receive government aid in restructuring the company. And the feeling is that General Motors has not gone far enough fast enough. And so Rick Wagner stepping down is an effective way for the government to send a message to the GM bondholders, the UAW, and everybody involved in General Motors that the government is serious about taking the steps necessary to change this company as quickly as possible. And the bailout, which will effectively be announced tomorrow, this gives us a hint that there will be tough conditions attached. Do we know what the other conditions are and what kind of timeline this will all play out under? Uh, they are likely to tell General Motors, listen, you are going to have an X period of time, whether it's four weeks, six weeks, whatever it is, in this period of time, everybody has to make the agreements, the bondholders, the UAW, everybody. If you're not going to do that, then the federal government likely will look at the option of going to bankruptcy court, but guaranteeing that General Motors doesn't go out of business. Bankruptcy has always been the big scare that you don't want to do that. It would hurt the company. Well, if the government steps in and says, we will guarantee that this company doesn't go out of business, that eliminates a little bit of that concern. So that may be what we're going to hear from the White House tomorrow. So here you have a chairman that's being shown the door. You've got another bailout. How is this playing on the customers, the people who ultimately will have to buy these cars for these companies to stay in business. It adds more doubt. It makes people you know, say to themselves, is General Motors going to be around? If I buy a car from GM, will it be there to service my car three, four years down the road? That's why the government wants to step in at some point and to say to the Americans, listen, this company is not going away. We are not sending GM out of business. We are trying to restructure the company. All right. CNBC's Phil LeBeau in Chicago tonight. Thank you.